Okay, welcome to our third session and in this session we're going to be playing with our blending brushes and we're going to be playing with a fun technique called um, colour blocking. Now, um, there's a lot of ways you can colour block but I'm just going to show you the basic way and then I'll show you a few samples that I've created um, over the last probably early on in the year um, that I did with colour blocking. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab, I've just used the basic white and I've cut it down to a size that I want. Then we're just going to block off with sticky with a sticky note a section of the cardstock so I'm just going to do a small section you can do as large or as small as you like and we're going to start with misty moonlight now when I sponge or blend I um, pick up a little bit of ink at a time I'm happy to do that and I'll just work in until I'm happy with the depth of colour. Um, it's always best to start off light because you can always add colour. You can't take it away once it's down on your card. Okay, so we'll start with the Misty Moonlight. Now when I'm using my blends, everyone's probably different, but I sort of start off, I hold my blends, my brushes like that. And I will start off the cardstock because if you start on the cardstock like that, you will get that. Okay, so I just ink it up. I don't even swirl the brush around. On the lighter colours, I may do it, but on the darker colours, I don't. I'll just tap, 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 and I work in small circular motions coming down onto the cardstock just small circular motions it's marked there but we'll fix that up and each color on i find each color will blend differently some are really nice and smooth to blend others are um, a bit of a pain to blend so what we're going to do is just just take your time it's supposed to be relaxing i find it relaxing anyhow and as i said i'm just blending that color it may not feel as though i've got a color on it but i have so we're starting off and we're bringing it down and i'm going to do a little bit different instead of just having the one color all the way across we're going to concentrate on the right hand side because I want that colour darker and we're just going to bring it out to the left. Okay, and just small circular motions and just like that. Just keep working it until you're happy with that colour. See how this colour is darker? Just going to bring that out a little bit further. Just like that. And I'm happy with that. When I'm finished, I will then go off to the side and I will try and blend out all the excess that I've used. Okay. And... I usually have a piece of scrap or a tissue or paper or something and I will blend it into that as well. So that's that colour. So we'll close that up. We're going to carefully remove that and we should have a nice straight line. Okie dokie, just like that. So that's that colour. Then we'll come back and we'll put that down below that, on that line. Now when I do this, 
when I put this colour back or this sticky note I will come down about one mil not even that just below that line okay because I don't want white space in between the colours so I come down just that fraction then we're going to do I think balmy blue I think that's that's the lighter colour so I won't use the um, misty moonlight because it's a darker colour so again oops I did it I'm going to put another piece of car, uh, sticky note above where I want it just like that now I've lined my sticky notes up with the grid paper okay now, colour blocking is just straight blocks of colour. But there's a lot of potential you can do. Again, starting off the cardstock and coming in. But I want to come this side this time. Still taking it across to the opposite side. You can come down from the top or you can come down from the bottom. It's up to you. These brushes are really, really nice to blend with, actually. They're one of the nicest ones I've used. So I'm just coming down from the top as well as the bottom. I don't want to come too much from the bottom because... I've got that misty moonlight along the bottom and I don't want to bring it in too much. So we're just going to keep working at it. Just take that little bit of white away. I just want it just a little bit. If you find when you um, finished it all you want more colour just um, block it out again with your post-it notes and add your colour I'll just work that bottom a bit Just nice, slow, circular, and that's it. I'll add a little bit more over this side, I think. See how we go. And I'll blend it out. I don't stop in the middle. I will either blend it out to this side or I'll work it back to that side. But I don't sort of stop in the middle. Okay, so we've done that one. And we can remove our mask just like that and we'll come in again just below that line like that and we'll grab a new sticky note we won't use that one again and we will, that might be a little bit bigger, but that's all right. I don't mind. And we'll come in with soft sea foam. If I can open it. And I'm just going to take the excess off. You won't even notice it. And I'm going to use the same brush. Okay. And I'm going to come in from the opposite, from the right side again, to the this, one, to the left, okay, from the one before. You can have it all the same if you wanted to. Just nice, 
circular motions. Now, sometimes the colours don't look as though they are, are being transferred onto the cardstock, but they are. Okay. Now, as I said, I want this side darker than the left side. So I'm actually working the right side more than the left side, but I'm still going over to the left side because I don't want it all white. Oops. Just keep going. Nice circular motions. Just take your time. Don't rush it. And as I said, don't put it down straight onto your cardstock because you'll end up with that big blob. And it's very hard to work out or to blend out. I'll just do one more. And one more for good measure. <laughs> okay. I think that might be okay. Yep. I might just work a little bit more. I know it's a light colour. So just bear with me while I... It's quite effective when you finish it. And once I finish this, I will um, create a card with this block of colour and I will post it um, under this post so that um, you can see it. And please... As I've said before, please share any creations or projects that you do with um, this technique. Okay, I think that's enough. So we'll close that up and take that off. We've got a little bit left, so I might bring in another colour. Just underneath there. So we'll bring in another colour. Um, pill party. We'll try pill party. And again, I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just taking the excess off. I'm very light handed with blending. Um, other people can be heavy handed which is fine but that's just me sometimes I wish I was a little bit heavy handed but I think it's just what you're comfortable with and what you how you do it so I'm just bringing in the pool party and again I'm taking it around along to the right side I still want my left side to be darker than my right side. That's just the way I'm doing it this time. You could have it all nice and even if you wanted to. It would still be effective, but I just want to... I like playing and trying different things. I'll do one more for good measure. And that's it. Just close that up. Okay. And that's our that's our blocks of colour. So there's the misty moonlight. Oh, balmy blue, soft sea spray. Um, yeah, soft sea spray, wasn't it? Seaside spray and pool party. Okay, so that's it there. I quite like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but we'll just play. So what I'm going to do 
is show you some cards that I've done creating with that technique. So this is one I've done. I've used um, mm, Crush Curry. Um, that's Pumpkin Pie. That's Crush Curry. Um, Bumblebee. And So Sap. No, this is So Saffron. Crush Curry. No, Bumble. So Saffron, Bumblebee, Crush Curry, Pumpkin Pie, and So Saffron. So I've turned that into um, a sympathy card. Um, I've used the Textile Textures embossing folder and that lovely stamp set what is it enjoy the moment so that's that one um, that's another one um, doing the same um, block that we've done I just showed you that is mango Man mango melody Malamambo, Bermuda Bay and Gorgeous Scrape. All the bright colours. It's been the backgrounds embossed with the subtle embossing folder and I've backed the block onto gold foil. That's that one. Then we've got this one. This was the first one I did. So that's again colour blocking. Um, I've just cut a piece of uh, basic white into strips and I've just coloured them. Well, actually, I think I stamped first, cut it and then put it back together. So that's that one. Then this one is all different blocks and I actually got it from the piece of card or paper that was left the pattern that was left after you've um, you've blended. So that's that one. This one took quite some time because I you had to um, mask off different areas and all that sort of stuff. So it did take some time. Even the smaller areas like that had to be masked off. Okay. Again, using the same colours, and I've introduced the Granny Apple Green. So this is another one that I played around with about a week or so ago. Same thing. Um, I did a square. Then I actually um, decided to cut the circle. And then I decided to do some inlaid um, embossing. So that is from the... I think it's the Pretty per Perennials in the mini catalogue, but that's that one. And this is the second card because I didn't want to waste this little flower. So I've actually inlaid that back into, I cut another circle and I inlaid it back into the circle. And all this flower is the cut out from that. Okay, so please, um, have a go it's a lot of fun and share thanks a lot see ya all right